Now, before the pandemic of 2020 hit, this movie was originally set to hit theaters on Mother's Day weekend, and I can imagine uh, seeing this movie with your mother would make for a very uh, awkward ride home. Now, in Run, we follow Chloe, who is disabled and handicapped and believes that her mother is harnessing a secret that's linked to it. Now, Run was originally supposed to come out on Mother's Day weekend in theaters, but because of the year 2020, that didn't happen, and Hulu acquired it and will be releasing it to you guys on November 20th. But because I'm attending the Nightstream Film Festival virtually this year, I got to watch this movie at its world premiere. And shout out to Nightstream for getting a Sarah Paulson thriller as their opening film from the director of Searching. I really enjoyed this movie, and mainly just because of just a, how much of an old-fashioned, Hitchcocky, nail-biting thriller that this movie is. It's 90 minutes, and you're in, you're out, and you're glued the whole time. It doesn't overstay its welcome, and it's just a very nicely driven thriller that's anchored by some fantastic performances. Our two leads are fantastic in the role. They are so believable and you buy into both of their characterizations, but it's really Sarah Paulson in this movie who really shines as the veteran actor. She gets to get into her sort of Kathy Bates misery type of level of acting in the which that, you know, and she gets to tap into that really, really well. You know, she's lovable and sweet to the point that you, 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 you feel for her. But also when she snaps and goes completely unhinged, the mannerisms that she taps into are super fascinating to watch unfold. Also, from the director of Searching, he does a fantastic job of knowing when to drop twists at you and when to hold back. And I love the pacing of this movie. In fact, the whole production of this movie is fantastic. I will admit though, the ending gets a bit campy and I loved it. I love the sort of campy ending, but I do admit that the rest of the movie prior to it, um, it's a bit more tense and realistic that some people might not like the way that this movie ends. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic and I really enjoyed the ending, but just gonna give you a forewarning that you might find the ending just a little too, too much. Overall, Run is a solid thriller that does a lot with this simple plot and is anchored by two fantastic performances, most notably Sarah Paulson, whose slightly unhinged performance makes for a very captivating watch. The ending might get a little campy for some, but for me, I loved it. As the score goes, I'm going to give Run a 3.5 out of 5. So you guys, there you have it. That was my review for Run. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this movie when it becomes accessible to you on November 20th. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movie, and you guys have just been Slash.